day in my life as a house sitter staying in Switzerland for free. So I wake up, make my bed, this is the room I'm staying in, and then head to the kitchen to feed these fur babies. I'm sitting for one dog and two cats. And I get to stay here for free because I'm taking care of them. So in the morning after I feed them, I take Tuffy the bulldog out for a walk. Then I make myself some food. And while I'm eating, sometimes Tuffy sings to me. Then I start my day of exploration. So for this sit, Lake Geneva is just a 10 minute walk away and it's absolutely stunning. I honestly spend most of my day just walking around the lake and taking in the scenery. I'm just thinking about how grateful I am for being here because I know not everyone gets to spend this much time outside. This is a moment where I realize I'm in a legit painting and I just feel pure bliss for being able to experience this. Once I realize the sun is going down, I know it's time to head home to check on the gang. I come back inside to show Mr. Churchill some love. He's the most precious cat. Tuffy is hanging out sunbathing and waiting for dinner. Once I feed him, he slurps every bit of it up. I take Tuffy out for his evening walk. He always makes sure to clean up after himself. He's so funny. Then I make myself a sandwich and it's time for some self-care and relaxation. And that's pretty much it. A day in my life as a house sitter who gets to stay in California wine country for free because I'm taking care of free cats. I get out of bed and head to the kitchen to say hi to Wizard, the indoor cat, and just make sure he's fed and taken care of. Then I go outside and the weather always shocks me because if you didn't know, Sonoma Valley has this really interesting climate where it's like 55 degrees in the morning and then it jumps to like 85 degrees in the afternoon. Anyway, I go ahead and feed the two cats who hang out in the laundry room at night because we don't want them to get eaten by coyotes. Then I water the plants. And then I pick my breakfast off of the tree, since this property is covered in fruit trees. As a city girl from New York, one of my favorite things to do is just eat fruit directly off the trees. I don't know, something that is just so satisfying. Then I enjoy my plum on this chair, I make the bed, and then it's time to head out to this incredible vineyard. Out of all the vineyards I visited, it was definitely one of my favorite. The grounds were so gorgeous. I mean, look at the flowers. For anyone wondering, the name of this vineyard is Ferrari Carano. Highly recommend for a girl's trip or a romantic weekend. There were a lot of couples on their honeymoon there. This was my favorite bottle of wine called Tresor. After spending a few hours taking the views, it was time to head back to the house. This is what I saw as soon as I pulled up. There's so much wildlife that comes with this property. I tried to make friends with the deer, but it didn't work. So I went to hang out with Wizard instead. It was time to take Wizard on a walk, which he really looked forward to. He loves catching lizards. And he actually caught one on camera. He's pretty quick. See what I mean? Then I had to convince him to let it go, which he wasn't too happy about, but he eventually did. And I promise no lizards were harmed during this filming. We continued to walk around the property and say hi to my neighbor's horse. And then we went back inside to cool off a little bit. I'm truly obsessed with every corner of this house. I think it was beautifully designed and I just love how cozy it is. Then I decided I wanted to try out the hot tub, so I took a quick dip for sunset. It was just so quiet and so relaxing. And it was truly peaceful listening to the birds chirping and just having the place to myself. Afterwards, I hopped inside for a light dinner and then I watched the sunset on the property. All in all, I give this house sitting experience a 10 out of 10 because I got to see what it would be like to live life at a completely different pace. Places you can stay around the world for free, part five. Did you know you can stay in 14 different states across the US for free? If you're looking for an adventure and wanna hike along the Appalachian Trail, there are more than 250 backcountry shelters you can stay in for free. The shelters are about five miles apart from each other and the Appalachian Trail cuts through 14 states from Georgia until Maine. The shelters you can stay in range in sizes. Some are tiny cabins, some are tents, and some are a few stories high. 